Hey everyone, welcome to the Decorative Den, a look inside my craft room where I share all things crafting, planning, and DIY. My name is Charity and I am so happy to have you here with me. Today I'm going to be doing a memory plan with me in my A5 disc bound planner and I am actually using a new set of inserts in this planner. These are like a Hobonichi cousin style weekly insert. I got off Etsy and I will make sure to link them below. But I've been using this insert for a couple weeks now and I'm kind of going through and back planning June and trying to figure out exactly how I like to use these inserts. Um, and so while I'm doing that, I thought it would be fun to record me memory keeping in these so I can kind of show you what I've been trying out in here. So I'm going to be memory keeping the week of June 28th through July 4th, and I'm going to be using some leftover full boxes from Saucy Sticker Co., the sun-kissed kit. I was actually in the Florida Keys this week, and so I think these full boxes will be perfect for memory keeping my vacation. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm going to start by whiting out the existing dates on the inserts and covering them up with some washi tape. This roll is from one of the tubes you can get at Michael's, and I absolutely love how well this washi tape matches the kit. The bluish teal color is perfect, and I love that the marble pattern kind of looks like water, so I feel like it is perfect for a beach-themed spread. And then on top of that, I am just layering some um, like date cover overlay tape from Rose Colored Days. I have not tried out this tape yet in these inserts. This is the first time and I was so happy to see that even though the Hobonichi Cousin columns are, you know, thinner than an inch and a half wide, this tape still worked perfect for the dates. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. And then the actual date dots I'm using are from Sadie Stickers. But I've been having fun in these inserts trying out different things with my dates. Um, some weeks I'll just take like a Tombow and color in the dates to give it a little extra color. Um, I've cut down sticker date covers and put them over the dates. And so this was another fun kind of experiment. And that's one thing that I've really been loving about these inserts in general is I guess just because the columns are not standard inch and a half wide columns, I feel like much more motivated to be creative and I don't know, just try out different things, which is something I have really been enjoying. Definitely with memory keeping, I find that although I love very sticker heavy spreads and I was using a week on four pages insert in these, which was really great. I felt like my spreads always turned out really beautiful, um, but they were so time consuming to do. And I found that I was doing like the same techniques every single week. And so it got to a point where it was getting a little boring. And so just switching to these inserts has been a lot of fun and has motivated me to actually catch up on my memory spreads, which has been wonderful. But jumping into my sidebar here and what I'm actually doing, um, I started by putting down one of the full boxes from the Saucy Sticker Co. kit and I just trimmed that down so it would fit the width of these columns. And then those little habit trackers I made with some Tombos, that's something I saw Lindsay Scribbles do in her Hobonichi Cousin and I thought it was just genius. Um, I love that it is a perfect way to use like leftover kits that I might not have a matching habit tracker for. Um, it's also encouraging me to use more of the Tombos in my collection. So I just put down two habit trackers that top orange color is number 912 and then the blue is number 452 and you'll see I use those colors a lot throughout the spread just to tie in the colors of the full boxes. Um, I then used a little flag from Clever Gal Crafts just to mark that this was my vacation week and then those little like gold flower dots I put down, I put five of those down just so I can go back and mark a highlight for each day that we were in the keys. 
But moving on to my actual week. So Monday was our first full day in the Florida Keys. We had driven down there the previous Saturday and Sunday. And so being like kind of exhausted from the drive, we let ourselves sleep in, which was so nice. And I used a little Foxed Cactus Girl in PJs to mark that. And then we pretty much spent the morning binge watching Columbo, which <laughs> get ready for a lot of Columbo in this spread. Um, So that is a show from essentially the 1970s. It's like a detective murder mystery show that my husband and I randomly watched an episode of when it was on TV at the hotel room, like on the drive down, and we were instantly hooked. And so found out you can watch it on Amazon Prime Video. And so we um, pretty much binged Columbo all week long. Anytime we weren't out doing something, we were back at the condo watching that. Um, so Monday morning we spent watching Columbo, um, had a lunch at home, and then both of us had some work emails to catch up on. And then we spent the afternoon lounging at the pool, which was really nice. And I just marked that with a little torn piece of washi tape. In the evening, we had a nice dinner out at a restaurant called Mile Marker 88, which was really nice. They had live music and you can eat right by the water. And so it was a really nice like first dinner in the Keys. And after that, we went back to the condo area and watched the sunset. Definitely for the first half of the week, the weather was pretty like cloudy overcast with some scattered thunderstorms. And so the sunsets weren't the greatest in the beginning of the week, but we were very dedicated to seeing a good sunset. So we went out every single night to watch sunset. And I just marked that with a different Tombow color. So I highlighted that with 991. And then in the evening, I'm pretty sure I painted my nails, but I can't actually remember what I did that night. So I just marked that my husband had game night with his friends. And I think during that time, I probably painted my nails and watched YouTube, but who knows? <laughs> so on Tuesday, I started by marking the weather at the top. Um, as I was doing this spread, I realized I did not record the weather for every day. And so at the end, I had to like look up what the weather was and go back and fill those in. But as you can see, I'm like attempting to draw in the little weather icons each day. And let me tell you, I am a crafter, not an artist, and I feel like it is so clear with my little weather drawings, so I'm hoping over time they'll get better. <laughs> but in the morning, we watched more Columbo on Tuesday, and there were scattered thunderstorms throughout the day, so when there was like a little break in the rain, we went to a nearby park and just went for a nice long walk. And that little shoe sticker is from the shop Happy Bee Crafts. It is actually a printable shop, and so I like that you can kind of size them as you need. And so I was able to size these little sneakers pretty small to work well with these inserts. Then we came back and had lunch at home, which really was probably just snacks because we ended up going out to dinner pretty early. Um, but the little spoon and fork icon is one of the mini sheets from the Style Planner. So then we did go out to dinner and we went to a restaurant called Island Grill and I just popped down to this like bottom note section that I blocked off to mark that at this dinner I had literally the best fish I have ever eaten in my life. It was so good. I had fish tacos with grilled mahi or grilled dolphin fish, whatever you want to call it, um, but it was just like cooked to perfection. It was so good. And so I just wanted to mark that down. Um, after dinner, we went back and made some drinks and then walked down to the water to watch sunset. Again, it was another pretty cloudy day, but we did get some more colors, like some nice pops of pinks from in between the clouds. And so that was really nice. And then Tuesday evening, I Skyped with my family for a little bit, and then we finished it off by binge watching some more Columbo. <laughs> So moving on to Wednesday, Wednesday was another day with just scattered thunderstorms and actually it stormed the most overnight. And I just marked that by layering some solid color five millimeter washi tape. Um, both the orange and teal strips are from a pack I got off Amazon that I will try to link below. I love having thin solid washi tape. I think it is so good for layering and I've 
loved pulling it into my spreads in these inserts specifically. But anyway, on Wednesday, we woke up relatively early. I'll say earlier at least. Um, and around 8.30, we went to Dunkin' and got some groceries. And I just marked that with a little stinking happy character holding some coffee. After that, we went to the Laura Quinn Bird Sanctuary on Isla Mirada. And if you are ever in the Upper Keys, I would highly suggest going to this bird sanctuary. It's one of our favorite places to visit whenever we're in the Keys. Um, it is a smaller sanctuary and they focus on rehabilitating birds so that they can be re-released into the wild. And then if there are any birds that, you know, cannot be re-released because of illness or injury, they'll keep them at the sanctuary and they will be there for educational purposes. And so you can walk around and watch the birds that are either being, you know, held temporarily or the permanent residents and it's just a really wonderful little sanctuary. And so we definitely enjoyed walking around and watching the birds that day. Um, as we were leaving there, it started sprinkling a little bit. So we ended up just doing some shopping this day, which worked out perfectly for when it was raining. Then we had what I like to call a liner. So in between a lunch and a dinner, we had um, just a meal at Isla Mirada Fish Company, which was really good. And then when we got back to the condo, we watched more Columbo and I worked on some freebies for this quarter and all of my new freebies are up on my Instagram account right now. I have a couple different inserts for the micro and mini happy planners and I also have some three by three planner cards. So definitely head over to my Instagram and click the link in the bio to check those out if you are interested. Um, but after that, we walked down to the water again to watch the sunset and again it was another cloudy day but it was getting better there were some little breaks in the clouds so we could see some of the beautiful orange and pink sky this day which we really enjoyed um, and so then after that we went back to the condo to watch more Columbo and we just made some drinks and like hung out inside which was nice so moving on to Thursday, July 1st, um, we woke up earlier again. I put early in quotes because 8.30 really isn't that early, <laughs> um, but it's early for vacation. So um, we actually went out to breakfast. We went back to Island Grill, the place where I had the amazing fish the other day. Um, while we were there, we saw they had a pretty extensive breakfast menu. And so we decided to go back and have breakfast, which was delicious as well. And then after that, we went to the Windley Key Park. It is like a Florida State Park and it's a smaller park, but it has a couple different walking trails you can do. There was one that looped out through a forest and they had really well marked trees. And so if you like tree identifying and learning about trees, that was a great trail. And then they also had a few that went through some old quarries where they used to harvest, I guess is the word, um, but where they used to uh, get Florida Keystone, which is a limestone that developed from fossilized ancient coral reefs and so you could walk around the old quarries and that was really cool just because you could see the coral in the stone which was really awesome there was like very visible brain coral and things like that so we had a lot of fun just kind of taking our time through those trails and taking pictures with the keystone and everything like that so after oh and I will say the first was the first day we had like an actual sunny day. And so it was so hot by the time we were done walking through that park. Um, so we just went back and cooled off in the air conditioning for a while, watched some more Columbo, and then I did some hula hooping. That's like one of my other hobbies I really enjoy is just hoop dancing. And so because the weather was so beautiful, decided to go outside and do a little hula hooping before we went to dinner. And this night we went to a restaurant called Lorelei's, which has beautiful outdoor seating that looks out to the sunset. And so it is like such a good place to go when the weather is nice. Um, so we went there and enjoyed some live music, got to see the sunset, which was really beautiful. And then I marked 
I also got some pie at Lorelei's. Had to get some key lime pie while we were in the Keys and this restaurant does it my preferred way. So you can either get key lime pie with like a ton of meringue on top or you can get it with just a dollop of whipped cream and I highly prefer just a dollop of whipped cream and so that's how they serve it at this restaurant and so it was just like the perfect way to end a good meal and a really nice sunset. But yeah, um, in the little notes section, I just marked that that day we also listened to a like Florida Keys themed playlist that we have. And so it was just a really good day overall. So moving on to Friday, Friday was another sunny and beautiful day. Um, we woke up and started watching Columbo while we were eating breakfast, but then we were quickly interrupted, um, by a phone call from the owner of the place we were staying and they just called to let us know that Elsa, which was a hurricane at the time still, was predicted to come through the Florida Keys and that they were going to have their condo like closed up with hurricane shutters over the windows and everything just to prepare um, in case Elsa turned into like a bigger hurricane. It ended up being a tropical storm but totally don't blame them for wanting to be prepared. <laughs> so because they were going to have to close up their condo, it meant that we were going to have to leave early. Um, we had originally attended, intended on staying through the 5th, um, but because of that, this made Friday our last day in the Keys. And so I just marked that with this little La La Land studio sticker this like sad crying marshmallow because it was really sad news at first um, but we decided to make the most of our last day and we lounged hard we were lounging by the pool we went down to the beach um, we went into the ocean it was just it was really nice like I said it was another really nice day and so we tried to make the most of just being out and in the beautiful weather and so after a day out in the sun we just made some pizza at the house um and focused on cleaning up and packing our stuff. We did make it down to the water for sunset and this was the best one of the entire trip. It was so beautiful. Um, it was a clear sky. You could see just the gorgeous like rainbow of colors in the sunset. And then it was also really cool because the sunset was out to our left. But then if you looked out to the right, there was like a thunderstorm above the ocean, like off in the distance. And you could see lightning in the clouds, but it was so far away that you couldn't hear the thunder. And it was just a really cool experience and like seeing the juxtaposition between this like really beautiful, serene sunset and then this crazy storm that was happening on the other end of the ocean. But yeah, that was pretty much Friday. Saturday, we woke up early and went to Duncan before hitting the road. Um, and I really struggled here, didn't I, while <laughs> marking this. Um, I ended up deciding to go with another one of those stinking happy girls because so far in the spread, I've been pretty consistent. When I highlight something, like I always highlight Columbo and Orange, and whenever we left the house, I would try to block it out in brackets. So I figured why not be consistent with this as well and use a little stinking happy character every time I got Duncan. <laughs> But anyway, so we drove for like eight hours and ended up stopping somewhere in South Carolina. And because we were unexpectedly driving the weekend of July 4th, we were a little nervous and unsure if we would be able to find a hotel to stay at like halfway through our drive. And um, I mean, luckily we were able to find a place in South Carolina. However, I didn't realize the place I had called was a pet friendly hotel, which in general isn't an issue. I mean, we both really love animals and so that shouldn't be a problem, but I had never stayed in a pet friendly hotel before and this one definitely smelled very strongly of pets <laughs> and I don't know if it was just like dog urine that wasn't cleaned up in our room or something but the room smelled really bad and so I marked it with this like grumpy little ghost character which is also from La La Land Studio. Um, 
But I mean, it was fine. It was a fine place to stay for one night. And so um, we stayed there and then hit the road the next day. Again, we got Duncan and drove back home, which we got to in the early afternoon, which was really nice. Um, After driving, my husband was definitely pretty exhausted since he does most of the driving on these trips. And so I used the time while he napped to unpack my suitcase and do some laundry. But I am using a little suitcase from the Happy Blue Tree to mark unpacking. And then the two little cars I put down are both from Happy Bees Crafts. After that, um, I pretty much spent the rest of the evening just binging YouTube and getting caught up on various channels that I haven't watched in a while or that I was behind on. And so um, I watched some Jade the Libra and some Welsh Twins Let me know if you watch either of those channels. Neither of them are planner related, but I really love both of them. (laughs) But yeah, that pretty much does it for my plans for the week. So after I have my plans down, that's when I like to go back in and actually do my decorating and finish filling out my sidebar. I found that when I try to decorate these inserts before filling in my plans, I tend to overcrowd things and it doesn't work well. And so I found that this system works really well where I just lay out all my plans and then I go back in and do my decorating. Um, So the first thing I did was just mark off my habit trackers and then write down my highlights for each day that we were actually in the keys and then for decorating I like to just cut down my full boxes and I like to do a mix of squared off full boxes that kind of look like you know like little photos just a traditional rectangle and then I've also really loved tearing down my full boxes so that way I can get more of like a scrapbook feel with like torn little full box pictures and torn washi and so when I'm decorating I like to try to do a variety of both in these spreads and while placing these full boxes I tried my best to kind of like match what we did with the images so like the days we were like lounging out is where I tried to put um the umbrella photos or the day we went in the water I kind of tried to put the beach stuff there the day we went to the bird sanctuary I put the little bird icon it's not perfect but I it definitely at least gives me kind of the vibe of what happened each day But yeah, that is it for this plan with me. I'm going to pop these inserts in so you can see the full week totally filled out. I am so happy with how this spread turned out. I really love this orange and teal color combo. And I was so happy that with the washi tape and Tombos that I own, I was able to make use of these full boxes without having a full kit. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe found it fun or interesting to see how I'm using these inserts. Again, I will link these below in case you are interested in trying these inserts out yourself. But in general, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit the like button for me so I know and consider subscribing if you are interested in other crafting, planning, and DIY videos. Thanks guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.